Today we've gone kayaking in the Mount Riaby Gorge. Beautiful gorge. Martina's not feeling too well, but she's doing good so far. You have these weird trees growing out of the river. So strange. Dead deer in the water. Very weird. Got the kites up. In this beautiful spot. Loads and loads of fish actually. So today we're off to Barcelona, it was a bit of a surprise for Martina's birthday, we're going to be staying on a yacht, we're going to a music festival, uh, it's only for one night, so I mean we've left the cats before for one night when we lived in the mountains and other places, and we're actually going to lock the cat flap from midnight to 8am, we're going to put it on curfew mode, and that means they can't uh, leave the van between midnight and 8am. That's not right, lock time midnight, open time. 8 a.m. and that way the cats save curfew and that way the cats will not be able to uh, exit the van between midnight and 8. We're back from Barcelona and we had an absolutely fantastic time, only one night. Had a bit of a party, stayed on an Airbnb boat, a yacht, a big yacht in the port. Uh, so yeah, had a fantastic time, but in the space of 12 hours, Martina uh, had the worst luck she's ever had in her life, probably. Uh, her phone got stolen. A uh, brand new iPhone XI, only a couple of months old. Her car window got smashed, someone broke into her car. Luckily there was nothing in the car. And we got back to the van and Milu is missing. She's nowhere to be seen. We've checked the cat flap history and the last time she was in or the last time she exited the van was Sunday at 10 a.m. Saturday night we spent in Barcelona. Sunday 10 a.m. she left. We got back Sunday evening and she's nowhere to be seen. Simba's there but Milu is nowhere to be seen. We don't know whether she's, you know, she's run off because of a predator. Uh, we just haven't a clue where she could be. So we're at the garage, we've just had the window fixed. Uh, Martina's just paying. Not sure how much it's going to set us back, but the insurance had an excess of 200 euros. So there's no point claiming because it's going to be uh, probably less than that or around about that price anyway. But that's one down. Now we've got to get the phone. Uh, we've got to get a new phone for Martina. And we also need to find the cat, which is a big one. Uh, there's also a heat wave coming, 40 degrees, 42 degrees. Imagine the cat out in the forest in 42 degrees. I mean, if it's not near a source of water, what's going to happen then? So yeah, not, not much good news. But uh, I normally, you know, when it's this hot, we'll just go off to another place in the van. But because the cat's gone missing, we can't move and we've got to stick around when it's so hot. So yeah, the next few days aren't going to be much fun. So Martina has made up these posters. Uh, she had 70 printed and just hanging them up everywhere on bins, on lamp posts, on trees, anywhere she can. Uh, any luck? No. You hot? Yes. Are What's the water? umbrella for? Well, because it is 50 degrees. 
Did you speak to the farmer? Yeah, wanted to give him the. He has a house up there. Really? So he said he wanted to go up here. It hasn't been a few days. <clears throat> Do you have any water? Yeah. And he wants to go now, but the thing is closed, so they need to come back. <clears throat> they need, they're trying to find out what time it opens, and then if they see anything, they call me. This is the closest village to where we're parked. Lots of cats here, but not the right one. There's much more cats in this village than I thought. Yeah. Oh my god, they're all sick, bro, guys. So Martina's contacted a psychic who apparently can speak to animals. I mean, neither of us believe that sort of thing. But it's only cost 30 euros, so I mean, it's worth a punt. Uh, you never do know, not that we, either of us believe. But uh, she's just got a message saying she could be in this building. So Martina's just got out the car to have a look. She uh, sent us a screenshot of Google Maps with a circle around an area. <laughs> Seems ridiculous, I know. But what else have we got to go on? Milo! Milo! That's why I talk to my crazy psychics, cat psychics, who tell me that I have to go to an animal, um, to a house, and the country starts to look for my cat. So what are your thoughts on cat psychic number two? So the only reason why I contacted the cat psychic in the first place is because I am completely desperate and I have no hope, nothing to hope for at the moment. So I thought just, you know. And it was only 30 euros. It was only 30 euros and I thought maybe they're going to tell me something that I can somehow look forward to. So I did and uh, just to cross check what they were saying, which doesn't make much sense going to the second one and yeah I mean their information is quite overlapping the second one is more specific and kind of follows up more I wasn't really expecting to find my cat after protecting a cat psychic <laughs> but it gave me a little bit of hope because both of them said that she's alive and just around this area so. So we've just picked up a cat <laughs> trap. <laughs> it's in the back there. So you put some bait in, the cat goes in, and then the door shuts. So we just need to decide where we need to put it. Where did you get the cat trap from? Um, the crazy cat lady of the village. <laughs> You gotta talk to the right people. So we'll see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> 